Hello and welcome to another Adobe Training Tip of the Month from your friends at Head Tricks Training. Today I'm in Photoshop CS6 and I'm going to show you an old school style that I can use to retouch or decrease wrinkles. I learned this a long time ago at an NAPP event. I'm going to go into Quick Mask, my favorite quick selection tool. I can press Q to get in or go down to the icon here below. Once I'm in Quick Mask, I'm going to draw with black and white. I can press D for default colors to get into there. And I'm going to just play doctor and do some digital plastic surgery here and just show her the areas that I could perhaps retouch and try making her look younger if I do a little nip tuck here kinda of decrease her laugh lines a little bit there maybe a little bit in her neck so once I have the selections I can simply press Q to get out of Quick Mask and show my selections. From here I'll press Control J or Command J on the Mac to jump these selections onto their own layer. If I turn off the visibility of the background, you'll see there I have all the little bits and pieces from the operation that I'm about to do. And here we go. Put on your gloves and masks. We're going to go up to Filter, to Blur, over to Gaussian Blur and simply take the radius from zero down to the bottom so we can see her wrinkles and then go in for surgery and slowly drop up the radius increasing it little by little and watch her wrinkles disappear I press OK I can turn off the visibility of the bits and pieces and you'll see the before and her wrinkles appearing and I click on the visibility turn them on and there you have the after removing her wrinkles in Photoshop CS6 Hope you enjoyed this tip of the month from Head Tricks Training.